Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Orion Tech Tips video. In this video, we are testing out the performance of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 2023, the newest Call of Duty game there is on the Dell G16 gaming laptop. I've already made multiple videos on this. Uh, the first initial unboxing impressions, the uh, long-term review video, and the video where I upgrade uh, in an install drive the SN850X Black 4 terabytes. So if you want to check out either of those videos, feel free. I have made a playlist. Now, I will say I didn't um, want to buy this game. This is a free weekend, and I've been playing it out. Uh, this is the new Team Gun game, which is very similar to the traditional gun game, but instead, uh, it's not just you. It's not a free-for-all. It's rather Team Deathmatch mixed with gun game. So every single team, uh, your team, everyone on your team has the same gun, and then when you get enough kills, you switch to a different gun. So it's quite interesting. I've never seen anything quite like it, although with just combining um, Team Deathmatch with Free For All Gun Game. But, oh well, I did really enjoy it. The mechanics do feel a bit snappier, but ultimately I am still waiting for the next Black Ops game. I do think Black Ops Cold War is better than everything we've seen after that. So I'll just wait for the next Black Ops game and buy it. It's a fun game. Uh, it was free. That's why I'm testing it out, but I won't recommend anyone go out and spend 70 bucks on it. Okay, that's like the very short review. In terms of the laptop, it is completely playable. We are playing at 1440p maximum detail, and we are getting between 60 and 120 FPS. Um, very, very playable. I mean, for me, a 60 average, quite frankly, is more than enough. 61% low is even better. I, I do really enjoy gaming at higher refresh rates, especially with fast-paced games like this. Uh, so if you do have, uh, if you do want a higher refresh rate experience, yes, this laptop will for sure do it. Now, if you do want like a more technical video, maybe watch my um, initial uh, unboxing impressions, as well as the long-term review. But yes, okay, uh, refresh rate is plenty, and of course, if you want lower, then you can, of course, maybe play at 1080p low instead of 1440p ultra. Now, in terms of the render latency, this will all depend on your Wi-Fi. Uh, the, uh, laptop does include a 2.5 gigabits Ethernet port, which is more than enough for 99% of people. I also bought a dock with 10 gig Ethernet, which I was actually quite excited. I went to the computer store, bought a Cat 7 Ethernet cable, plugged it in, and then realized, oh, my Wi-Fi doesn't support that. So that's unfortunate. If you're buying like a high-end 10 gig Ethernet dock or a dock with 10 gig Ethernet, and a Cat7 cable, make sure your Wi-Fi can support that. Um, <laughs> kind of a funny story for me. Uh, in terms of CPU, you now in terms of our CPU usage, this is a 24-core, 32-thread i9-13900HX, and we're using about 50%, so that would equate to we are using the 24 cores, but not the 32 threads. Now, I know most people don't have a CPU this good. Uh, you can certainly get away with less just because it will use a lot of your cores. It doesn't mean that they are required. Now, I have played... Not this exact game, but uh, Modern Warfare 2 ran okay on an 8-core Ryzen 7 1700X. But having more cores, it will just smooth out the gameplay and boost those 1% lows. Now, this does max out at 5.4 GHz. And it, it, it is quite smooth. I know there's a little bit of stutters. This may be because I was only... I'm like watching the gameplay now. I was only recording, oh, it looks like that we are switching to the next um, mode, which is kill confirmed on Rust. So yeah, 5.4 gigahertz, very fast. It will play on less, but it just won't be as smooth. Okay, now we're playing kill confirmed on Rust. So overall, the, the CPU performance is amazing. Now, with the CPU, it is quite close. It's about 
10% slower to the desktop variant, which is an i9-13900K. So you are getting just about an i9-13900K, which is crazy to think about getting that beast of a chip. The Like, one of the, definitely like the top um, 1% processors in a laptop that I can just throw in my bag and take wherever I want is absolutely crazy. CPU performance is, I've also done other uh, CPU intensive tasks, virtual machines, um, editing, coding, audio engineering, all of that. CPU performs amazing. Now, moving on to the GPU. So unlike the CPU, you are not getting a full desktop 4070 in here, unfortunately. Um, oh, one more thing. I know someone's going to comment it. Well, no, it's not 24 cores. It's only 8s because 8s are performance cores and 16 are efficiency cores. No, that's... There are real cores. They are real cores. Uh, the 8s are, yes, performance, the fastest cores on the market right now, and the 16 would be the, the performance cores are equivalent to a Ryzen 7 3700X, which is more powerful, I'm willing to bet that, most than most people have on their computers. You are essentially getting 8 of the fastest cores in the world, plus a Ryzen 9 uh, 3950X glued on for free. Uh, so no, they are indeed real cores. I just want to throw that out there. Now, GPU, as I was saying, you are, um, it is a fast, you're, you're getting a 3070, um, or a 3070 Ti. You're getting desktop 3070 Ti performance. Now, unlike the CPU, this isn't a full desktop 4070, it's only equivalent to a desktop 3070 Ti. And, you know, that that's, you know, I, I understand, you are power limited, you are thermal limited. I do wish it could, like, slap on, like, a Max-Q mobile variant, like they used to back in the Pascal era. But, you know, eh, it is what it is. So keep that in mind, when you are buying this, do not expect a full desktop 3070. Now, unlike, um... AMD is real live, and NVIDIA Shadowplay does not capture VRAM. I wish it did, but unfortunately, it doesn't. I do prefer AMD software. You only have to download one file, versus here you have to download two files. The um, GeForce Express and the NVIDIA Shadowplay, I believe those are separate files, unfortunately. It doesn't capture VRAM. So we're using, I can see I have to like actually go into a separate software. I can see we're using about 6.2 gigabytes of VRAM. Now I know a lot of people have been freaking out about VRAM uh, recently. And yes, the desktop variant 4070 comes with, uh, what is it? 12 gigabytes and the laptop variant only comes with 8 gigabytes. Uh, it's GDDR6, not GDDR6X. Keep in mind, laptops don't... I don't think any laptop, not even a 4090, comes, which is really just a 4070 Ti, but we'll ignore that. No, no laptop, not even the most high-end laptop, comes with GDDR6X VRAM. So, 1440p maxed out, one of the newest games on the markets, only about 6 gigabytes. Now, I have no doubt if you have more VRAM, just like the CPU, you will probably, the game will probably use more, and the textures probably will look better. I mean, personally, like, ever, I, the, the textures of these games don't look good. They looked amazing in Black Ops 3, which is a 9-year-old game, and it just seems to go downhill from there. Cold War looked okay, um, but I mean, I'm not impressed by the textures. Uh, considering the file size, that is quite disappointing. Um, but, oh well. So, only about 6 gigabytes of VRAM. So, you know, if you're not wanting this laptop for VRAM, I've never had an issue other than when I played Forza Horizons 5 uh, Ultra textures at 1600p. It gave me a warning. I lowered it to high, as I explained in the last video. It uh, performed great, and even when I ignored the VRAM warning at Ultra, played it anyway, 
it still performed fine, uh, running over 100 FPS. So, yeah, I mean, maybe long term, uh, VRAM will be an issue, but for now, I, I haven't had any trouble with it. In terms of main system RAM, again, I wish NVIDIA Shadow Play Overlay covered that, but unfortunately it doesn't. Uh, we're using about 17 gigs of our 32. Yeah, it, honestly, 32 gigabytes of RAM has become so cheap, I'd just go with 32. I wish Dell allowed me to buy 16, and I just installed my own RAM, but unfortunately, they wouldn't allow it, probably just for a cash grab, which is unfortunate. But I, I want the 32, and I mean, with my use case, I need 32. If you're just gaming, yeah, 16... It, it is f I fine, but considering you will increase your performance, or at least increase the 1% lows, it will be smoother, you can have more applications running in the background if you have 32, it's not that expensive. Uh, DDR5, it, it's come down in price, um, DDR4 is dirt cheap, um, but D DDR5 is more, is slightly more expensive, so, yeah, um, Keep that in mind. Temperature is fine. Again, we have a plastic uh, chassis with, if I can pronounce my words, plastic chassis, there we go, uh, with thick fans, so cooling is good, uh, and I don't really hear the fans, um, especially with headphones. GPU power, yeah, it's running 115-ish watts, um, which lower than 140, but overall it is fine. Okay, so that uh, covers it. Um, you can also pay attention to the clock speeds. It is running as advertised. And I mean, ultimately, it is impressive that you can get this performance in a laptop. Um, yeah, okay, so the match is about... Overall, I'll just let it play through. Uh, we are... Oh, we're losing, unfortunately. All right, bam, 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 double kill. My gameplay isn't the best, but it is okay. All right, like and subscribe. Comment if you have recommendations for a future video, and uh, God bless.